In the previous video, I just copied this over into this new panel. So I am fine tuning a little bit the position of most of these devices. So here I saw a little bit earlier that I had to move this further down. So I adjusted everything. Um, I will also add here a new wire duct uh, at the very top. So wire ducts that we were using up to now were 60 by 80 or uh, different sizes of wire ducts. And you can see that the every one of these wire ducts that we are using here also has some manufacturing data, which is uh, responsible for the uh, drilling uh, of the holes and everything. So here, when you place a duct like this, uh, what you want to do is you want to map it exactly on that same corner that you have been using before. And you want to stretch it exactly to the extreme side here to have a perfect connection there. So this, um, if you want to give it a specific name, uh, earlier I called it D1 just to recognize it as duct one. Then I go down duct two, duct three, and um, as far as I'm concerned, down here we have a few ducts. Some of them you can actually copy. So um, if you take this one here and you duplicate it, you say, okay, I'm going to duplicate this X number of times. Let's say here. Well, before you duplicate it, maybe let's just duplicate it once. We'll stretch it, and this is the kind of thing that we can do with ePlan very easily. So once this is done, you change the length. So you take that duct six. You make it a little bit longer. Uh, you want another uh, set or dot duplicated, so D for duplication. So it just goes down here. You want to make it right there, let's say. So we have a few more. And it's it's the same thing when you place a DIN rail. A DIN rail is just added by simply adding a mounting rail. Uh, mounting rail here, I have a very standard mounting rail here uh, that you recognize. We even have some, I would say, uh, not so fancy one, we just call them like that. They're standard with D-Plan. You can order them with whatever manufacturer you have. So either you place them open-handed like this, this is one possibility, or we also have interesting tools such as adopt length. So you can actually select something, you'll have exactly the same length. And if you want to place it right in the center, place centered with this one, well, this is a good old trick that some people know, and it will just place that mounting rail right in the center. Behind the scene, there is, of course, all the drilling view and connections. So now we have added and we've done what we saw earlier here as the bigger panel. I think I completed it. So I can actually go say, okay, I approved for a retail. This was the panel that I placed. I approved it myself. And what I'm going to do also is uh, I will actually say it's done because, yeah, all done and adapted. So there was a little bit of work in there involved, but much less than if I would have had to do it on a uh, on a regular CAD package. Let's just see and if we update this report, what happens. So you will see it's no longer the same panel. So most likely what's going to happen in this uh, particular one or with this particular one here is, well, let's see. It might actually disappear entirely. We'll see. Give us a few seconds. Because it's no longer the same panel, right? Whoa, there you go. So it is now really bigger, like we said. Uh, this is our uh, device. Uh, if we zoom out 100%, we should, we will see all the rest of the, uh, the data. Really cool, nice. Um, of course, now all these different reports that were there, uh, I can simply update them. So I, there are different ways to do this, but one way would be to just go here, utility and update, and it would update them. The one thing that may have, um, or may require a little bit of considerations, 
are actually the wire length. Because remember, by repositioning these push buttons, uh, we most likely have changed some of these lengths. And um, it is probably worth looking into the routing and making sure that all the routing actually is conform and works out. We also move these objects up here. It's not much, it's just a few inches. We moved it down, we actually got a little bit of space out there, uh, space that now is available that earlier wasn't available. But of course, uh, the routing has changed. So we should, uh, in, instead of just updating the reports like this, I'll, can I cancel it? I'm not, probably not, might as well just have it updated, it won't take too long for everything. Uh, let's take a look if I have some length at the moment. And most likely, I don't have any length. I'm gonna check it out. No, nope, there aren't any length. So reason for this is because I moved all my objects. And since I moved all my objects, um, the routing, of course, is not gonna be complete. So if I reroute now, <coughs> You will see we will get some new routes, new routes. Everything worked out. Push button. You can see that for the door, it's a lot, it's a longer way, right? Because we have those ones there. So let's take a look again. If I reopen this time the same wire list here, let's see if I update those utility reports update. I get some length all over the place. I uh, even have here the fabrication list. I have now some length all over the place. If I update this, you can see every wire has a length. This is great. This is really great because now I could think about the next step, which is of course the wire fabrication here with the Rital WT. Um, and what's gonna happen here also is most likely, uh, since we've done some revisions, I personally would like to also see how ePlan shows the revision that we have, because when I do this, I wanna see the changes that I've done, right? I wanna see them here. And you can see I added actually only three pilot lights, but I also changed the panel. So um, it's, it's quite accurate, because here we can see which pilot lights we added. And of course, <laughs> If we, <coughs> we go to the NC uh, drilling side of things, let's see, drilling is of course entirely new, right? Because we actually changed our panel entirely. So how is the drilling done? Uh, no big deal, it's just a drilling view here. I just go and generate a drilling view. And those drilling templates are immediately updated. So here you can see <coughs> for the first section, for the second section, here my push buttons, even the other one, all these new holes that got in on, on board. It's amazing. Everything is updated. So here the red lining, of course, uh, that shows up. So we can see that we stretched the whole thing. This, of course, is also updated. And this got updated too at the same time. So we can actually update both of them. And it's all 